Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> I'm super elated to be looking at another Lindy Hop video. This time it is not a competition. It's actually some vintage Lindy Hop footage in black and white. Based on the thumbnail, I've never seen this before. So let's dive right into it. Hey. All right, let's take a look. Don't know what to expect or even if this is real or not. Let's see. Okay, there's no sound. Wow, and they're actually dancing on grass. Not complaining about not having sprung floors. Little kids, 1939, wow. It's really interesting. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's legit or not, the footage. Let me read it. It says, local African-American youths Lindy hopping casually for the videographer. Video taken 1939 in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Very interesting. A lot of my family lineage came from the South. Um, some of my family was like in Alabama area. And then a lot of my family uh, moved to like Michigan. A lot of my history. And I found out when I was a kid that, you know, my grandpa was a swing dancer. This was like before... Uh, I learned about swing dancing or any of that. So I find it fascinating that there are more old clips like this coming out where uh, people are just finding some of these things at estate sales and attics. So if you've got stuff like this, please continue to post it. I think it's, I think it's really interesting. I think it's interesting to kind of get a snapshot of where people were. What was life? What were they playing the music on? That's interesting. I want to see, if I, was it a record player outside? I mean, clearly they're dancing outside. Was it summertime? Kids were barely in any clothes, but it's hot and they're all wearing all this stuff. I love, I love that. And it looks, yeah, it looks like it might be, it might be accurate in terms of the date because based on the design of many of their clothes, I can tell it isn't like a 1950s thing claiming to be a, 1930s uh, clip, but everybody's just content. I think that's I think that's fascinating. Dancing makes life just seem slow and enjoyable and simple. And dancing is not simple; it's, it's complicated. But it gives me that simple feeling. What did you guys think about this video footage? Why do you like video clips like this? When I look at video clips like this, I don't really see it from the same perspective a lot of people do. I look at this and I go, well, it's a cool clip of history. I look at it and I say, wow, these people were doing swing dancing at that time. What can I learn from that? And I don't really see it as something I need to like imitate or like try to preserve what they're doing, their moves. Um, I think all of that was done by some of the original dancers and uh, the second generation of swing dancers who actually pushed the ideas further than the original generation. And so for me, I, I, don't, I don't look at it as if it's like some mandatory thing like, oh, you gotta find all the black dancers from the original generation. Ah, oh, you, sure? you gotta imitate all the moves. That's cool. But for me, it's just a piece of history. I get a snapshot of where my people here in America as an American I get to see, wow, this is a snapshot of Americans dancing in, in, outside. Maybe summertime, 1939. What was life like? 1939. Man, the world was in chaos. And they're outside dancing. So I find that interesting. I find it really interesting. That many of my favorite songs, in fact, come out of this time period when the world was in so much turmoil, it birthed some of the best musicians and the best songs. And these people just out here dancing in the grass, having a good time. I don't feel at all that 
the world is in chaos or it's dangerous. I just see people just saying, hey, look, we could die tomorrow. We can have a, a moment where we just share life together. And I like that about swing dancing. It kind of, for me, it gives me that opportunity to just kind of let go and connect with people I don't even know, which is strange to just be able to walk up to people you don't even know and you're clean and then you all get sweaty together and you don't even know each other's names. But there's such a there's such a transfer of energy and belief and emotion and, and life that it, you dive past the superficiality of rapport to this deep connection with people. I love that. I think it's a phenomenal idea that um, reminds me of just how humans want to connect with one another. So that clip for me was very interesting. It was very uh, inspiring um, in a somber way. It's a good reminder to think when there's turmoil all around you, when there's chaos in the world, that maybe we should dance on a Saturday afternoon in the grass in our best clothes without complaining about the floor. Maybe we should just do that in front of the kids so the kids can be inspired with something good. Isn't that interesting? What do you guys think about this video? I don't know. Big shout out to, it looks like this is William Brown, uh, who uh, is the one who posted this. I'm not sure if he's the one who actually took the video of this. Um, I doubt that. But William Brown, thank you for posting that. I saw that today and I thought, I need to watch this and kind of record my thoughts on it. But anyway, 1939, vintage African-American Lindy Hoppers. What do you think about this clip? Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. If you haven't started Lindy Hopping yet and you wanna share the joy of what this dance can bring to your life in terms of music, exercise, relationships, travel, food, all of those things are enhanced with swing dancing. I encourage you to get into the game. Um, check out some of my free courses below. I got over 30 courses that will just kind of give you an idea of um, how the dance works and give you some new creative moves that you've probably never seen before. Um, to help you be inspired personally to go through your Lindy Hop journey to grow. So anyways, uh, I thought that was really cool. So thanks for posting that on YouTube, wh whoever you are, um, whoever recorded the actual video. Thanks to William uh, for posting this. And uh, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I'll get a chance to see you in one of my Lindy Hop classes online. Have a great day. Take care.